Like many fast food chains, KFC's international menus feature a range of dishes you won't find in America. Some are attempts to replicate local culinary customs, others are innovations considered too brazen for U.S. shores, and some, well, some are just plain weird. It seems a little surprising that KFC has never tried to beat the Big Mac in America. Maybe they think it's impossible. After all, what chance do you really have of beating out a burger that sold 550 million times per year? But nobody told KFC Canada. In 2014, the country's KFC branches became home to a brand new menu item, the Big Boss Sandwich, or as they call it in the Great White North, burger. The Big Boss is almost identical to a Big Mac. It's a double-stacked sandwich topped with lettuce, pickles, cheese, and a special signature sauce. In Canada, KFC even sells French fries, making the parallels with the Big Mac all the more stark. The only difference, of course, is that instead of beef, it's made using fried chicken. At the time of its release, KFC Canada described the Big Boss Sandwich as a sandwich revolution, which provided a fresh alternative to the iconic double burger. But the company also insisted that the Big Boss wasn't a copy of the Big Mac. The chain's Facebook fans, however, weren't convinced. One user summed up their suspicions when they posted, It looks like a Big Mac made with chicken. KFC may not be the fanciest joint on the planet, but that doesn't mean you can't get a little bang for your buck, especially in Singapore. Pop into one of their KFC restaurants and you'll likely find the truffle parmesan chicken. Released to celebrate Chinese New Year in 2019, this twist on the traditional fried chicken recipe includes a truffle-infused cheese sauce and shredded parmesan cheese, and comes with a free Shora strawberry kiwi drink. According to KFC, the recipe was an attempt to draw in younger crowds, inspired by local hipster cafes which frequently serve truffle fries and truffle pasta dishes. With their fried chicken alternative, KFC said they hoped to give Singaporeans something premium that everyone could enjoy during Chinese New Year. In their own taste test of the new item, CNA Lifestyle said the Parmesan taste really cuts through on KFC's truffle Parmesan chicken, though the restaurant does apparently tend to drown the chicken in truffle oil. But hey, maybe you're into that. Have a blue taste of chicken. Just a bit. Just a taste. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Mm. In America, you wouldn't normally dream of hitting up KFC for breakfast, unless you had a really specific craving, that is. In some countries, though, the restaurant offers a whole range of breakfast items that have never shown up stateside. Take KFC Singapore, where you'll find KFC's original recipe porridge cooked with crispy shallots, chopped spring onion, and perhaps, inevitably, chunks of fried chicken. KFC Singapore also offers an original recipe twister, which is basically a breakfast burrito made with fried chicken, as well as the American twister, which is exactly that, but with turkey bacon and hash browns. Then you've got the original recipe platter, which is literally just fried chicken with a load of breakfast sides. If you'd rather go for a sandwich, though, you could always try the Riser, a chicken filet burger topped with whole egg and a slice of cheese. Or there's the brekkie, which contains turkey bacon, fresh whole egg, sliced tomato, and cheese. And yes, they do pancakes too. But who needs pancakes when you've got chicken porridge? Back in 2012, KFC's Singapore branches began offering shrimp stars and fish donuts. Shrimp stars are essentially shrimp nuggets in the shape of stars that are breaded and deep fried. Fish donuts, meanwhile, are fish patties breaded and deep fried in the shape of donuts. The two items are also available together as a so-called snackers combo. And that's basically it. Not exactly the most complex recipe in the world, and the shape of these things does kind of make it look like you're eating a weird, terrible school dinner. All in all, though, it's a decent enough idea, if you're the kind of person who goes to fried chicken restaurants for the fish. The closest you're gonna get to nachos in a US KFC is probably the chain's wedges. And that's a pretty big stretch in the first place. But if you hop onto a plane to South Africa, you'll be able to get your hands on genuine KFC nachos. There is a catch here, though, and that's the fact that these come as part of a sandwich, the Nacho Cheese Crunch Burger. This item is made from a chicken filet dunked in nacho cheese sauce topped with a slice of cheese, cheese cheese-flavored nacho chips, and a little mayo to top it all off. If nothing else, you've got to give KFC South Africa a little credit for taking something only a college stoner could invent and turning it into a nationwide marketing initiative. In 2019, KFC Australia brought its own version of nachos to stores, but you won't find any of them there today. 
Chachos were basically just original recipe tenders topped with avocado, supercharged sauce, cheese sauce, and salsa. Chachos had appeared a few times before in Canada as a limited-time item, but in Melbourne, they were only available as part of the chain's inexplicable daylight savings food truck party, which took place for exactly one hour in the middle of the night back in April 2019. The party featured a food truck, local DJs, and, of course, KFC's own chachos. According to Lifehacker Australia, they were pretty delicious and free, too. But you'd expect a couple of freebies, too, if you'd pulled yourself out of bed to attend a chicken rave in the middle of the night. Obviously, KFC is all about the fried chicken. That's why they call it KFC. Fried chicken is part of their name. In Malaysia, however, one menu item that was introduced back in 2013 could easily have inspired a rebrand from KFC to KPWC. Paper-wrapped chicken is a popular Chinese dish that involves marinating chicken in sauce and spices before wrapping it in paper or tinfoil and either deep frying or baking it. Curiously, KFC's version appears to be baked. According to Malaysian food blogger KY Speaks, this actually comes off rather well. He writes, The chicken was well marinated and carries a strong hint of black pepper and a trace of mushroom flavor. The bed of corn gives it a note of subtle sweetness as well. The butter rice was very similar to chicken rice, but softer in texture. Definitely one to keep in mind if you'd prefer your fried chicken not to be fried, but you can't avoid the kernel. Chocolate hazelnut fries are another genius invention by Singapore KFC, having been introduced back in 2018. There's not really a lot to explain here. They're fries, and they're drizzled in chocolate hazelnut sauce. That's it. These choco nut fries were available at just 10 stores in the city, and only for as long as stocks lasted. But anyone who couldn't get their hands on the chocolate hazelnut fries could opt for the chain's chocolate hazelnut egg tarts, which were released at the same time. So what was the verdict on the ground? Well, one Twitter user wrote, KFC chocolate hazelnut fries? Basically, it's just fries and Nutella, and I have to pay $4 for that. Another tweeted, KFC selling chocolate hazelnut fries and egg tarts? Sell some good fried chicken first. Well, wow, that's... That's harsh. The not-so-cleverly named Chitza is, as you might have guessed, a chicken pizza. And no, that doesn't mean chicken as a topping, either. Generously referred to by The Independent as a low-calorie, high-protein pizza, the Chitza is quite literally a pizza made with a fried chicken base, topped with tomato sauce and mozzarella. So kind of like chicken parmesan, but with toppings. Like so many other weird KFC recipes, the Chitza first showed up in Singapore, but it has since spread across the world and, if you're lucky, might show up in a store near you sometime soon. Shortly after its launch, KFC told The Express, We're always looking to introduce delicious new products to our menu and are really excited about the incredible response Chitza has received around the world. Keep your eyes peeled! Don't get too excited just yet, though. Responses to the Chitza were mixed after it launched back in 2017. One Twitter user wrote, the KFC Chitza looks revolting, but I'm not going to complain if someone treats me to one. Another user, on the other hand, took some exception to the recipe itself. They tweeted, The KFC Chitza is literally a piece of chicken meat and toppings. Don't be fooled. Remember the double down? It was the so-called sandwich that KFC released about a decade ago that consisted of bacon and cheese trapped between two fried chicken fillets. It was an instant hit on the internet and in the media, despite containing enough fat and sodium to kill a medium-sized elephant. At the time, Eater pointed out, As far as our research shows, the Double Down is not based on any other sandwich previously sold at another restaurant. But there is another sandwich that's based on the Double Down. Say hello to the Double Down dog. This monstrosity was released in the Philippines in 2015 and was made up of a fried chicken breast patty wrapped around a hot dog topped with either ketchup, mayo, or cheese. And despite looking kind of appetizing in the promo images and commercials, the actual product appeared less than appealing. Gravy Mashies might sound like an EP released by an obscure psych rock outfit from the late 70s, but they're actually a weird deep-fried potato snack most recently released by KFC in Australia in 2017. Essentially, they're a more portable, bite-sized version of the chain's mashed potato side, consisting of balls of mashed, deep-fried, and injected with a splash of KFC gravy. They had actually been introduced to Australia in years prior, but only as a limited-time offer. 
Mashies exploded in popularity, however, and soon developed a cult following, leading to a flurry of requests and at least one Bring Back KFC Mashies Facebook group. In 2015, KFC tested the gravy waters by releasing Mashies in Tasmania, where over 130,000 servings were sold in less than two weeks. In 2017, however, KFC went big and Mashies were rolled out in 600 locations across Australia. The company's marketing director said at the time, There were thousands of comments on our social post with people outside of Tassie begging for them and asking when they were going to get them. When you have fans that are this passionate, you have to give them what they want. Nonetheless, they remained a limited-time offer, and sadly, gravy mashies haven't been seen since. Okay, yeah, you can get fried chicken at literally any KFC on the planet. But the interesting thing here isn't the nature of the food on offer so much as it is the quantity. And that's because in 2016, Japan began offering all-you-can-eat fried chicken every Wednesday for two months to celebrate Colonel Sanders' birthday. And that wasn't the first time they'd done this, either. The company had done the same thing twice in 2014. For around the equivalent of $13.40, customers were given three pieces of chicken, a biscuit, a small batch of french fries, and a medium soft drink. And for 45 minutes, it would be open season on refills for any of those components. Sora News 24 sent a reporter to cover the event in 2014 and found that they struggled to make it past 15 pieces of chicken. This threw up some interesting math, however. By their reckoning, 15 pieces of chicken would normally cost 3,750 yen. And because the base meal costs 1,340 yen anyway, eating 15 extra pieces would save you the equivalent of around $23. If you're making less than 20 bucks an hour at your job, unlimited KFC is an economically better use of your time than working. Can't argue with that logic. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite fast food chains are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.